Ready? Let's go. Oh my god, these doors are back. Cuban food is pretty great. Trust me. No, no, see, what is this? Who sits like this? Your mom. No, she doesn't. I know, minute to wake up, man. I'm still. We gotta do it right now. You know when you're when you're still like hazy, like your eyeballs are like. No, that's not a problem. You, dummy, what? get back there and close the door. I did close it. Not according to the thing. Go close it. I'll close it. Today we are headed to Miami. Um, we're gonna grab some breakfast on the way, and we're gonna meet Stingray Rob, my hopeful teammate for 2021 Indie Light season. And we're gonna ride around on Juan's boat, actually, all over Miami. And we're gonna go to Hallover Inlet, which is a sandbar, uh, just like we did yesterday, but this sandbar is a lot more popular. Like, it's the party sandbar. Obviously, with COVID, we can't get down and see people, but still, you can still go hang out and stay on your boat. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to, to be able to show everybody what it looks like there. Gathering as much info as you can because you don't really know what to expect. If you don't know what to expect, you don't know how to perform, right? Yeah. And so like, you go into every race and you're like, yeah, it's a new track, yeah, it's a new team, yeah, it's a new car, but it's like, you don't realize how much of a difference that makes. Because even when you're at that level of where you're comfortable with everything, you have to figure out yourself then after that, right? Yeah. And so it's just like, every time you get in the car, it's like this, and then your expectation is there, and then all of a sudden you elevate that. So every race, you're elevating that. that keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hey guys, I'm Nate Aranda, I'm a professional race car driver. I'm Stingray Rob, also <laughs> a professional race car driver, and we are here in Miami, Florida. Yeah, Stingray Rob was my uh, teammate in uh, Indy Pro 2000 last year, and he actually won the uh, championship. We're out here in Miami, we're on the sandbar, and we're gonna use pod decks to, to have a good time and do some interview questions. So to, in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a card, and each card is a different interviewer question, and I'm gonna answer one, then he's gonna pick one and ask me, and then I'm you know back and forth, back and forth. And I don't know what's on these cards, so I'm warning you now, it might be a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. I wanna go first. All right, so first card, let's see what we got. I got it. Hmm, all right. What is the dumbest way you've been injured? Wow, okay, so when I broke my arm, as you can tell right here, I have uh, I had surgery, I watched the movie Secret Life of Walter Mitty and I was, I don't know if you know the scene where he's going downhill on the longboard yep. and he's in the full pro position. Two days later, I did that in a hill in Albuquerque. It's one probably 20 miles an hour. I got the speed swivels oh, and I was like this and I hit a pine cone and I went down. And my cousin actually, it was beginning start of the summer. It was like the second day of summer. He broke his clavicle, I broke my arm. And we were we were casted up for the entire That's entire summer. Day. That's yeah. a good way to start the summer. So definitely the most uh, dumbest way I've ever got injured was was longboarding. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Stay safe, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second question. Second question. If you had a personal mascot, what would it be? <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, that's a. I mean, pretty apparent. Yeah, 
we're gonna make it not ironic and not <laughs> say a stingray. Uh, so personal mascot. I don't know. Say swordfish. Swordfish. <laughs> okay. Well, why why a swordfish? There's, there's I understand uh, stingray, but so my my best friend from high school, he calls me swordfish. Uh, my stepbrothers they call me jelly, short for jellyfish. Um, so I don't know. I got a lot of fish names. There's a lot of fish names going on yeah. there. I got speed racer, stick shifts. And if people mode. don't know, you're from where? I'm from Idaho. So not that much water. Yeah, not too much sea life in the area. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of sea life names for not being around the ocean. Yeah, I'm about the fishiest <laughs> thing you get, so. All right, next question. When you think about success, who comes to mind and why? I think my family members, to be honest. Uh, most important, probably my father, because he supported me in my career and really helping me, you know, dive headfirst into racing. I mean, I got a late start in everything. Um, he's always been there for me and supporting me in everything that I do and you know mentally physically you know always pushing me to get the better to be a better person and yeah so definitely my father I think so yeah. that's cool what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten the weirdest thing I've ever eaten there was one time one summer we were up camping in Hell's Canyon Idaho it's the Snake River Gorge okay and uh, we had a rattlesnake come into our camp and we had uh, shovel and so we just chopped the head off the rattlesnake threw it on the barbecue and that's what we had for a snack before dinner So I don't know rattlesnake bites at Hell's Canyon. All right folks if you ever want to know how to rattlesnake of taste Send freaking stingray Rob a DM. <laughs> I don't know what rattlesnake tastes like. I don't ever want to know what rattlesnake tastes like It's not the mm -hmm. best. I would not recommend. What's it? Is it like a mix between chicken and I would say it tastes like rattlesnake I that's mean, how not you good. Rattlesnake that's taste, not that's good. How it tastes. All right, all right, all right. Next question. Next question. I don't want to think about that no more. <laughs> I'm a rock and right, boat right one. now. What's the worst pickup line you ever heard or dished out? I'm sure you got a few. What's the worst pickup line? Hmm. I gotta think about that one for a minute. Do you want me to tell you the one I've used before? Yeah, go ahead. I would ask, I would ask a girl, hey, hey, what's your name? And she'd say like Ashley or something. I'd be like, hey, how do you spell that? And then she'd spell it, and I'd be like, oh, that's how you spell beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. Oh it's even so Diana bad. is so like, so that's bad. horrid, man. <laughs> Come on. No, that. no, 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 no. I loved it. No. To be honest, I, I... Shoot. You don't have like a go-to signature, like, hi, my name is Nate Miranda. No, I don't, I don't really, heaven, I don't really kind of pick up, like, I don't pick up girls like that. I just like talk like a normal friend, you know? I don't really go up to them like, hey, baby, you know, you don't you're missing me. Lasso and How do you spell your name? Oh, you're missing M-E or something like that. No, uh, I think the stupidest one I've ever been told though was, was uh, via text. It was like, hey, I think there's something wrong with my phone. I'm like, what's up? She's like, it's missing your number, baby. And I was like, wow, are you kidding me? That is, that is quite intense. What would be your best day ever? Best day ever? Like theoretical or actual like past day? Theoretical. Theoretical day? I don't know, today's pretty sweet. I like being on the water here in Miami. <laughs> I don't know, I think my ultimate day would be spending time with family. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that some of my best memories are from, you know, sitting around a campfire, talking to people. I'm very social. Mm -hmm. And so just- I mean, as we can tell. Time, yeah. <laughs> Getting to spend time with people, I just really enjoy. So as long as it's the people that I love and care about, I yeah. think that that's that's pretty much the best day you can get. Yeah, I think family is very important. Yeah, loved ones are always always there to keep you up and make you smile, right? Yeah, always <laughs> make fun of you too. Exactly. Be people, all my buddies, when they come over to my house for like dinner or something, my family dynamic is very uh, competitive. I you yeah, can say. Yeah. So we're always joshing on each other. Like, wow, man, because they don't come from a big family like my family, and they're like. Does your family like hate each other? I'm like, nope, it's all love, I promise. But we do Josh very, very, very hard. Yeah. What's your guilty pleasure? Food. Food? I love food and I hate how much I love food. I'm a <laughs> huge foodie. Um, we have a place in New Mexico called Last Call. Favorite burritos in the world. Uh, they also make fries, carne asada fries. Oh, hold on. I'm a bad person when it comes to food. So yeah, definitely my guilty pleasure is food. I won't even go anymore into that. All right. Um, all right. What do you consider your great, greatest achievement? Uh, this last year. I got to be there for that, by the way. Was pretty insane. I mean, everyone went through a lot, but I think that this is the most uh, seen success that I've had in my career. Mm -hmm. um, and in such a time of chaos. Yeah. You know, not, not just because COVID. I mean, COVID affected the series. COVID affected people. I mean, it affected life, everything. Yeah. yeah. yeah and so I think for me, it was good to have that. And it built my confidence a lot. Now, walking into 2021, Indie Lights is going to be a whole nother deal. Yeah. You know, we get, get to kind of live with COVID now and see what life 
does to us there and then also moving up to the next category it's a whole nother world so I'm excited for it I think God's got good plans for us and yeah I think that this has been the best year yet for us it's a great answer I feel like he has really good answers it's killing me <laughs> all right my turn yeah let's see what we got what is your most treasured possession wow you got your new house yeah I love that. I love that place. You got the good sunglasses on. You got the good sunglasses. I don't really like monetary things though. I yeah. think my, my 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 most prized possession, I think it's a card from my family. I have it. I I, I, I don't travel with it anymore because I did tear it once. Yeah. <laughs> but I used to travel, it was a card. Um, because I used to live here and my dad would send me like mail or something like that, thinking about you or hope you have a great day. Or before he'd leave on business trips That's when cool. I was younger, he'd like leave a card for me on the cable. That's cool. So I think those cards are, are definitely the, the memorabilia ones, but uh I think that's my most prized possessions. Okay. Have you ever heard of love languages? Mm -mm. No? So I, everyone's got a different love language, right? So some people it's physical touch, some people it's time. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think that yours is gifts? Like when you get gifts, that's like how you kind of feel? No, no, definitely not. Like those kind of gifts, yes, but those aren't gifts. Those are more like uh, thinking about you kind yeah. of thing, you know? Yeah. But I think if, if I was to say what my love language is, it's probably kind of just being there, you know? Yeah, spending like, time. Like spending time. Yeah. Not even physical touch, just spending time together. Like I'm a real personal, like I get along with you. Oh shit. I get along with you super well because we're really personable people. You yeah. know, we like to be out. We like to have conversations and we like to be able to, you know, express who we are. Yeah. So I, I think that that's really is my, my love language if I'm being honest. Cause yeah. I think it's the same for me. I like you know, being around people. COVID sucks because I can't. <laughs> we were talking about this in my last interview with, with, with my, uh, my title sponsor. He lives in New Mexico. He's a guy that owns craft. And I was talking to him. I was like, Man, it feels so good to get out now, doesn't it? Yeah. Even if you go out to the coffee shop and you have a conversation with some random person, yeah. it is amazing because it's it's like, you don't get to have that anymore. It's not yeah. attainable, but it's so good when you just get to relax and talk to people and you know talk about life instead of all the things that are going on right now. I know it, it's not that great, but try to look past that, you know, be yeah. happy with what you have right now. And I think a lot of people with COVID really recognize what they have in, you know, every day and how yeah. much they do really appreciate life. You know? sure. And I, I like days like this where you can just sit around and you may not get to visit with everyone, but you see smiling people. Exactly, exactly. We're hanging out. Nice. People are having fun. There's really good vibes here and we're doing some crazy interviews. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. All right, you're up. All right, all right. All right, final question. Uh, what would be the worst movie sequel ever made? Uh, That's a tough question. You're going to make a lot of people mad or a lot of people yeah. really happy on this question. Man, I don't know. I've seen some pretty bad movies. There's some pretty bad movies out there. But I'm the type of guy though that will watch it to the end. Yeah. I will, I, even if it's a waste of my life, yeah. still going for it. Dude, I don't even know what the worst movie sequel is. Journey to the Center of the Earth, isn't there like two movies <laughs> of that? That's probably pretty bad. I don't know if there's two movies, but that yeah, that is a pretty bad movie. Okay, that's the answer, Journey to the Center <laughs> of the Earth. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Totally worth it. It's not going to waste an hour and a half of your life, I promise. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, so that concludes our interview questions from Poddex. Hopefully we'll have some more coming up in the future. I know that we're going to be spending some time today and uh, maybe later this week with each other, hanging yeah. out and having a good time, uh, maybe driving some race cars. So keep watching. My social media is at Stingray Rob, and then Nate, yours is? At Nate.Aranda. There you go. Yeah. Also, leave a comment, ask us any questions. We will 100% get back to you. I'll show them to him. If you ask him on my page, he'll show them to me if you ask him on his page. We're gonna be really excited to show you guys the Indy Lights cars later this week. They're gonna be beautiful and they're gonna be amazing. We're gonna drive the hell out of them. All right, man. I like it.